Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a data table and graph it using Google Sheets. The data table here describes a person walking within a certain time frame. The first column, which is time, will be going along the x-axis, and the second column, which is distance, will be going along the y-axis. Time is going to be the independent variable, and distance is going to be the dependent variable. To specify how the variable time is recorded, the abbreviated unit is in parentheses in the title of the column, and it is in seconds. For the variable distance, it is measured in meters. Notice that the units seconds and meters are only indicated at the top row of each column, and is not needed for every single row of data. What we're going to do is take this data table and transfer it to a graph that looks like this. Notice the graph includes a label x-axis and y-axis with both included units. The main title is also labeled with the y-axis title versus the x-axis title, distance versus time. In this graph, there is a line of best fit and an equation of the line. Let's get started on how to produce this graph. We can start by putting the data table in Google Sheets like so. Next, highlight all the cells, including the titles of each column. Go to Insert near the top and click on Chart. Immediately, a graph will appear. The x-axis and y-axis are already labeled with their units. The title of the graph is there as well. I'm going to uncheck this box that says use what row 1 as headers to later make the equation of the line less cluttered. Next, I want the title of the graph to be centered. Let's click on it and change alignment by going to the right over here and click on this drop down icon. For center alignment, click on the middle icon. To add a trend line, I'm going to click on Series, located at the right, and it is going to expand with more options. Go down and check off Trend Line. It automatically defaults to a linear trend line, but for future reference, you are allowed to change the type of the trend line that best fits your data. I want to include an equation of the line, so let's scroll down just a little bit and click on the drop down arrow under Label. It's currently set to none, and we want to change it to use equation. The equation of the line pops up, and we can change its position over here to the right. We can also further move its location by clicking on it and using the directional arrows on your keyboard. And this is how we produce a graph using Google Sheets. Hope you found it helpful, and thanks for watching.